So it'll stay at that 169, 254. It'll stay at that forever. It'll never actually pull an IP, no matter what I do. You know, so I'm going to be stuck at an unidentified network, which is what it says there. Come on, focus. Yep, unidentified network. That's all it ever does. Now, just in case we're wondering if it's the adapter or not, I'm going to switch back again. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to switch back to the first one, the one that took a little while to be detected. I'm going to switch my mouse over as well, so I can have a mouse, switch Ethernet over, so you can see there's the first one, Oop. and there's that one, there's the mouse, everyone's plugged up, we're in, we're good, close all this out, give it a second for it to find my friend. Blue light comes on on it, by the way. So, I mean, it, it seems like it wants to work. Alright, so there we go. It shows up. Ethernet 2. Real tech. Oh, this one's dropping off for some reason. That's a little odd. I wasn't doing that before. Alright, there we are. Alright, so it shows up as Ethernet 2. And... As soon as it focuses, it's going to go to identifying. Come on, focus. Right, let me see if I can get it to identify. So there it is again. Identifying, and it will indefinitely stay at identifying. And eventually it's going to go to unidentified network and all that. So there it is, Ethernet 2. I can right click, I can go to status status I can go to details you can see there's my 169 that's all it ever pulls right all right so you're gonna blame it all I know it's it's this crappy laptop that's what you're gonna tell me so let's let's take a walk then so I'm gonna take your adapters here they are I'm gonna walk over here over here, I got a desktop. This is a HP desktop. It's on its side. The inside's open because I work on these things. But if you're going to look in the back, there's a blue Ethernet cable we're going to use. There's some USB ports underneath. And to start off with, I'm going to do the same thing we did at the other side. I'm going to come down here. And you're going to see. Oh, geez, it's so bright. Let me change that. Uh, Alright, there we go. Uh, it's still kind of bright, but okay. See if we can see it. So we look down here, and you can see there's my network setting. You can see I'm, I'm online. Home network, joined, internet. Uh, if I look at adapter settings, there's my built in gigabit status, details. You can see I pull a 192.168.0.29. Alright, so what I'll do is over here, I'm going to unplug this Ethernet cable and I'm going to take one of these guys. And I'm going to plug it in.
There we go. So we're plugged in. Just so you know, you can see cable unplugged. So that thing's bad. So we know the cable's good. We know DHCP because that's what that guy had. Going to take this cable now, plug it into USB here. So the USB is in. I got a light on top. I won't get a link light or anything there. I don't know if these things even have that. But it's the same cable I used, the same network cable, nothing's changed. You can see it's out of there and it's into that now. You can see, once again, I've got my Realtek uh, thing here. Notice how it's going to identifying. And if I go to status, I go to details, it's going to get the one. You can see it's got the 169 address, which means it didn't get a DHCP. Come on, focus, damn it. There it is, 169.254. So it's never going to pull it, no matter what I do. And here it's going to say unidentified network. Yep, that's what it says. So I'll show it to you again. Let me. So it's got the little exclamation point over it, and it'll say public unidentified public network, no internet access. So, you know, that's. That's this adapter, but hey, maybe it's the bad adapter, right? That's what you're going to say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap it. Well, I can plug them both in at the same time. I'm going to plug in this one at the top, and I'm going to unplug that one. And then blue light came on, which is good. I'm going to take the Ethernet out of him and put it into him. Okay, so now Ethernet's in. This is the second adapter. And let's see what happens. Notice it's going to go back to identifying. If I say change adapter settings, you're going to see the same thing. Realtek USB Gigabit Ethernet. Right? Now this is a desktop. And on top of that, I don't even know what Windows I'm running on this one. Let me check that out. Hey. So this is Windows 7 Ultimate. And the other one is Windows 8.1. So, I mean, I can come back and film this later, but it's going to do the same thing. So that's Windows 7 Ultimate. The Asus T100 over here, these came with... Uh, let me plug the mouse back in. Just so you know, these came with Windows 8.1 well they came with 8 or 8.1 but so it's 8.1 and 7 stored and the Lenovo that's underneath this guy he is actually Windows 10 and a Lenovo laptop right here right there's your Lenovo Oh, there's Lenovo's symbol. An Asus uh, Transformer book running Windows 8. And an HP desktop. Because that's who makes that desktop. It's an HP. Oh, good boy, can we see it? Here's HP. So you've got three. Here it is again. Unidentified local network. you got three different machines. A desktop, a laptop, and a uh, Transformer a two-in-one tablet laptop all of them have the same problem all of these and watch, watch this so I'm gonna take this Ethernet right I'm gonna plug it back in because they were trying to say my DHCP wasn't working so it's gonna go over to identifying and boom already out of that short amount of time it's already got an IP address that fast so it's not like it needs to take five minutes so these two adapters that I have purchased on an HP desktop running Windows 7 on an Asus transformer book 
running Windows 8 and on a Lenovo laptop running Windows 10 all have the same problem in the fact that they won't pull an IP address. Now here's the funny thing. So here's your product and here's your competition. The, uh, the Unitech. Oh gosh, here it is. It's got an Ethernet port just like yours and it's got three USB hubs. Now check, check me out here. So I'm going to take, remember our white cable over here we started with? I'm going to take our white cable I'm going to plug it into the end of the Unitech, just like that. And I'm going to take this. I want my mouse. So I'm going to plug the mouse in too. Oh. So I got the mouse, I got the Ethernet cable in. And I'm going to plug this in right now to the Asus. Oh gosh. So in she goes. So there's our beep, 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 because it found everything. Or it's finding everything. Put yours over there nice and gently. Okay. And here's the funny part. So it's already got a DHCP address. That's how fast the competition's is. So if I go to Open Network and Sharing Center, you can see using the competitions, it's already pulled an IP address. If I go to change adapter settings. You can see now they use a different chipset. They use the you're going to see they use the ASIX chipset. Oh gosh, come on, focus, focus. So it is a different chipset, but I mean the, they're the same idea product. I don't care if it's Realtek or whatever. I mean the Realtek should work. There shouldn't be a reason why these units don't work and then these guys here do work. Same Ethernet cable, same DHCP server, right? shouldn't be any differences with any of these things but at the same time there is a difference oh, oh, let me plug my mouse in again Let's see if that got it or not yeah so anyway I mean when you're looking at this and I'm going to status I'm going to details I mean, you can see, like, DHCP comes up in, like, a few seconds, and it's going to pull it again. Oh, come on, focus. There it is. So, anyway, why is it that this brand and this product won't pull an IP? It will be detected, but this one almost this Unitech version instantly does it. Same product, yes there is a slight price difference, but at the same time, if these don't work, just say they don't work. Anyway, that's my video.